Hello, beautiful people. My name is Nistaku, and welcome to another episode of Corpse Party. Um, I'm a little sick th today. I got sick somehow, even though I barely do anything. I'm I'm sick, so uh, it'll be okay though. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If I sound different and whatnot, at least you know why. And it will be fine because we are going to find Satoshi. Uh, I, I, we already searched all of the second floor of the main wing, and I'm, and I think we searched all of this too, so my next plan is to go where we found Morishige, and I guess look around at the second wing to see if anything changed, because I don't know if, uh, what's her name, Yuka? I don't know if Yuka, if she went into another dimension where this guy's from, or what. But, we are going to take a look-see around. Let's see, it, he should be up here somewhere. Shouldn't he be like, if we go upstairs? Did it get darker? I don't remember it being this dark. Okay, he should be here, right? Oh no. Oh yeah, because we could also talk about the little girl to the guy. Anything about the door? No, you don't care about the door. That's fine. You don't have to care about the door. Here we are. Oh no, Morishige isn't here. Okay. So what do you say about the body? Not breathing. Oh! Oh, oh, Yuka! There's no reason to get sick! You've seen it before! Are, are you alright? This is terrible. <laughs> Yuka, you've seen it before! Yuka, have you seen the ghosts of the children? Yeah, I have. I've been reading the school flyers and dying messages scattered throughout this school. Same! And and it seems the ghost of the man who killed those children is in here somewhere as well. <gasps> oh, he's apparently quite large. And wields a hammer. You best be on your guard. Yeah, that's what got um the blonde guy, right? I've had a great many of my friends. Many, many, many people killed by that man and those wretched children. <laughs> At least we have the same goal, is that we don't like those two. I don't trust you! At any rate, it seems clear we should stick together, as there is simply no telling what may happen if we part ways. Come. We must find my sister and your brother before it's too late. Okay, yeah! Big hey, brother. Sure hope you're alright. He's fine. He's a big guy. He's a big boy. He can handle himself. So, uh, do you have to say anything about the green floor? Isn't that what's up here? Green floor? You care? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, Yuka got her ankle bit too. I didn't mean for Yuka to get hit. Uh, is she a black? Yeah, she's black Bob. I don't know what. Oh, three. Ah, this thing. I don't. Am I supposed to like write that down? What I wish they would do is like be smart and start collecting those papers. Because if not, I'm just gonna look up a. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna probably just look up a guide. I'm not gonna waste my time writing that down. That you got to be kidding me for me to do that. And we know the third floor is the principal's room, so that's why I'm not really eager to go over there. Alright, music room? You're still here. Your music is so beautiful! I love it! Oh, okay. Alright, bye! Thank you, thank you for the sweet music. Staff room, boys' bathroom... Um, just seems like we're just, you know, like you said, sticking together. Um, I'm sticking with you. Maybe I should decipher those papers. I'm just too lazy. I don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem fun. Can you push that over? Yes. 
No, you can't. Well, we're not getting through with this in our way, so... Oh, you are! <gasps> hey! Nice! Whoa, yeah, whoa is right! Um... Uh, okay. See, like, I really thought with him pushing away the cabinet in the first wing that that would, like, give us somewhere to go. But really, it didn't. It just showed us the dead bodies, which I'm like, yeah, it's great. But, you know, can give me something? Some progress? Out of the boys' bathroom. Oh, yeah, he doesn't even know we have to pee. Uh, sir? Sir, I gotta go potty. Like, big, big time. Um, okay. Uh, I don't really- what's this? Like, there's like this little black thing on the wall. Is that, is that anything? No. Okay, I'll go screw myself. Oh, this- Oh, this is- this is different. This is definitely different. Found an outdoor walkway on one floor leading to a second wing. Going to check it out. If you see this, see me, please come find me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so is this Ayumi? Somebody left some kind of hidden message. Uh oh. Well, does this like give them the, the incentive to lay, to pick them up or do I still have to decode it? Somebody left some kind of hidden message over there on three school flyers. Apparently, you have to lay them on top of each other to read it. Um, okay. Well, that was good. I wanted to check to see if, uh, the writing was different since we're in a different dimension, and it definitely seems so. So now that we know about that, will that actually, like, give them, like, a reason to pick it up now? Like, now they're smart? Or do I still have to, like... <laughs> decode it myself and then do whatever it asks me to do. I'm hoping for the first one, it's probably gonna be the second one. Okay, so I know one of them was in the music room, right? So now if we pick it- no, 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 no. Was it in the music room or the art room? It was in the art room. It was in the art room. One of them is in one of the recreational rooms and then the other two are in hallways. Well, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it at all. Uh, so we have to go up. Go up. I gotta go up and around. I gotta go up and around and through the door. I gotta go up and around and through the door, through the hallway. Up and around, through the door, through the hallway, into the art room. Up and around, through the door, through the hallway, in the art room, picking up the piece of paper. Three. You stinker! Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me Google this because I'm not going to waste my time doing this. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So there's a loose floorboard in this cupboard. So thank you. All right. Is that, I'm not going to like, I'm not trying to get a step by step over here. I'm a big girl. Okay. I can handle some things, all right? I can handle some things. Um, loose floorboard. Uh, the, I only have one one place in mind that could be used for that. And that's up here with the, with the weird girl, the weird girl with the shadow leaking out of her face, right? I feel like that's a good spot, if anything. Let's see. I, 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 because I don't know any other location that needs a floorboard right now. It's this or nothing, right? Can we use it? Can we use it? Yes! Oh, we placed the loose board to her. Ooh! It's an extraordinarily tiny corpse. In its hands is a school printout with some text written on the back in felt tip pen. Wow, even knowing the pen. No. Daddy. I want to go back to Hidonzu. There are even elementary schoolers here. What a wretched fate. How on earth did she get caught up in this mess? I want to read her thingy. What was her what was her name? I forgot it. I forgot her name. We're not in chapter four either. Uh this one. Was it away from dehydration? Age nine! A nine-year-old! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! Okay. 
Well, I feel more sorry for me because that didn't even work on the story at all. <laughs> gosh, oh gosh. Oh dang it, oh dang it. Okay, all right. Oh, what happened to my game? Oh, and my game is frozen. Oh no, what happened? Please, please don't break. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is taking me way too long and I finally found someone. <laughs> Apparently a guide for this is very difficult. Uh, this, this, you know how what like our doing? ability, our superpower is to lift big cabinets? This is it. Well, we're not getting through this in our way, so. <laughs> Superman power, okay. Yeah, and then we look in it, right? No, no, are you kidding me? There's a few sentences scribbled on the surface of the desk. Kaori. Be very careful around the green goose spattered all over the floor. Could kill you. I ran into a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them and all in attendance join hands, then only then is it safe to traverse the accursed green goo. Whenever I see the sorrowful bodies of those who died here, I feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive these ordeals. Live! A pair of shoes with a faint, nearly imperceptible, bluish glow catches your eye from under the desk. Take them, yes! Oh my gosh, progress! Shoes blessed with holy water. Grant protection to those, to their wearer and all those who take his or her hands. Oh, Ooh, leave me alone, please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm sorry I took your shoes. I have to, okay? Okay, be barefoot. It's okay to be barefoot. I got socks on. Just put on some socks, it's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm about to bust into tears. I'm about to cry, I'm about to cry. I'm going to cry, like my eyes are watery. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> oh, but we have progress. Excuse me, Mr. Bus, please don't kill me. I don't want anything to kill me anymore. That would be very nice. All right, walk over it. Oh, okay, you guys are already prepared, which is crazy. Hey, there's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Sure. Crystal of unsealing. A translucent crystal that shines with mysterious light. Well, that's lovely. Hmm. Seems to be the problem, Yuka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh? Don't tell me you've been holding it in all this time, have you? <laughs> Poor Yuka. My my. Well, you best find you a place to relieve yourself then. Though I seem to recall our options being rather limited. Um, is the permanent records the doors affixed to the wall like a decoration? It would open. Um, the the girl bathroom. Is that what this is all about? Is that what the crystals for for the girl bathroom? Which is some. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so sorry you had to die like that. Here we go. Is this what the- Oh. The crystal of unsealing shattered. Here you go, Yuka! The protective charms attached to the door have completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Yuka, I don't know why you want to go in here. Seems usable now. Will you be alright by yourself? Oh. <laughs> I'll be okay. Get to it then. I'll be reading right here for you. <laughs> Thanks. Yay, you got Hopefully. I mean, you it's sealed in here for a reason, you know? Like, I don't know. We're kind of like really risking it. Huh? Hello? Kizami. Kizami, I Kizami? Kizami, is it really you? Kurosaki. Kurosaki, you're alive. Ah! <laughs> you're new. You too. Man, are you a sight for sore eyes? Aww. Finally, someone else who isn't dead. Gosh forsaken place that is. That this is. 
校舎の外もすげえ深い中階だしよ。I was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you, outside of this school, there's nothing but trees as far as the eyes can see. 外に出ると、迷ってこの校舎に戻ってくることすらできなくなるらしい。Thought about braving the wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in the video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. Ooh. So, what the heck is this place anyway? Dang it all. There are actual, honest to goodness ghosts in here, you know. Are we okay? Is Kazami okay? I think we may be stuck in here for good. There's no way for any.、Uh, there's no way out for any of us. Oh, my. Mitaka. Aww. Tonari no hair de. Oh, they're from the same school. Mitsuki san. Sindiru. Did you see? Mitsuki in the next room? She's dead. Ah. Mita. Yeah. I saw. Ore, be b i t c h Mateo. It's messed up. It's really messed up if you think about it. Like, I know it's like in a cutesy little pixel sprite form, but it's really messed up. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number. Oh, a certain number of dead bodies a person's expected to see within his lifetime. Ore. <laughs> and I swear, in the last hour alone, I think I've far surpassed my quota. Mitsuki-san, Karishi ni Yomata Kakerate de Sa. Kino so it's a hut takara, Asakara Genki Nakatandayo. Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out that he was cheating on her with three other women. Wow, stand up guy. She's been really down about it all morning. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. So I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. Then she sent me a little thank you message the very next period. I think I was actually able to help lift her spirits a little. <sighs> Now, though, she's gone. Killed by actual spirits. I guess it was those children. Oh? Oh? What? Huh? <gasps> Kizami? Kizami! Why did you do it? What are you doing? Oh! You could see it! You could see the little slit too! Why did you do it? Kizami! Out here, not a care in the world! Yuka doesn't hear this at all. She is too busy tinkling. Kizami! Koko deo. Then these walls. I tell you, Koro Sarer no. Ore ni Koro Sarer no mo naji da. Doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Dose. Oh, he's so creepy. Either way, you're dead. You can hide! Is she peeking? <gasps> Satoshi! Where are you? Where are you? You're like in a science lab. What the. What happened? Where am I? Where are we? Where are we? Was I knocked out? Oh, did Kazami knock us out? Yuka. Yuka! Yuka! Yuka? Are you there? You're alone, buddy. 
Oh, we're in the staff room. Whoa, what the? Wait, wait no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's weird. There's a plaque inside the case commemorating the school's establishment. It's covered in bloody handprints as if someone were frantically caressing it. Oh, what? Caressing? It's haphazardly crammed to bursting with crumpled up documents, it's paper clippings, and scrap paper. School scandals continue. Principal question on liability. A cursed school. The many grisly happenings of at Heavenly Host. School nurse reported missing. Oh, that's lovely. Um, this is an interesting staff room. Inventory of incoming students. Ujima Elementary, 21 boys. Hinodo Elementary, 10 girls. Caring Village, Montessori, 13 boys. Ushua West Elementary, 18 girls. Armor Gardens Academy, 6 girls. That's weird. Heavenly Host Elementary School closure date, 1975 of November 18th. Hey, that's today. I'm recording this. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, this is the last notes. Oh, but I haven't saved in so long. Oh, there's a body there, too. I haven't saved in, like, 15 years. Heavenly Host Bulletin. An individual unaffiliated school with the school broke into the building last night and killed himself. This is the third such incident. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring perfect prefecture. What? Why would he do that? Strange but true. Stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. It really exists. By Kuo Kibiki. Give it a look. Um. No. I'm gonna... I want to save. Oh my gosh, there's everything. There's a bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital video camera. Pick it up. Sure. Ooh. The label reads Kibiki Research Data 1, 2005 of the November 19th. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Let's not. Don't do that. That's not cool. The door is completely fixed in place and won't budget at all. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't want to read the memoirs. I haven't saved, so. You're not getting that from me. Let's read this. Read it. No, read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Read it. Two days later, the death of 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 over the course of several days, a series of incidents occurred within this town in which young children disappeared one after another. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through a thorough police investigation, but said findings were very much a worst case scenario. <laughs> Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heavenly House Elementary, unofficially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quaking in fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from demise when police arrived. Capping off this nightmarish scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloodied scissors, 1973 of September 18th. <sighs> a state of confusion, so what, he didn't, he didn't know what he was doing? The surviving elementary school student, after psychological counseling, gave official a testimony fingering the scissor man <laughs> as abductor and murderer. Scissor man? That's really fingering the scissor man? That's really what we went with? The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as desecration of the dead. Oh. Oh, wow. He was quickly taken to trial, where an insanity plea spared him from prison nor or death, but resulted in his compulsory admittance to a mental hospital. So he's still alive? What? 
Interesting. It, interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school's principal's own son, who was widely renowned for his jovial personality. So not even the principal, the son. What? That's new information. Oh wow. However, due to a mental ailment of known unknown origin, he began losing his ability to speak little by little during his years of he, during his years teaching at Heavenly Host. Once his speech was all but gone, he began searching for alternative places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of this endeavor were not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. Aww. His reputation quickly degraded. Several, what is this music? <laughs> Several months after his admittance to the mental hospital, he managed to slip past the many nurses on duty and escape the premises. How? Oh, immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary, where he took his own life by hanging. Oh my gosh! The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students. <laughs> but the one girl who was rescued from the gaping maw of eternal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture, far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Oh my goodness! It's it's never ending for these group of people. Sadly, this was only the beginning of the misfortune that would hereafter plague the school, which had already earned itself many un many an unsettling rumor. Is that I don't think that's right. Oh, the next few years, Heavenly Host would become a stage for countless incidents of Heavenly Host would become a stage for countless incidents of wow, wow. And wow! Oh my gosh! This is an elementary school! With student registration and attendance dwindling at an alarming rate in response to those cri to these crimes, schools eventually shut down. Yeah! Yeah, it should! What? Oh my gosh, that's awful! That's all- I thought it was just murders! That other stuff is awful! The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with incomprehensible graffiti. Everyone's losing their mind here. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his haphazardly scribbled enumerations. <laughs> And the day after the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from its roof. Ah, oh, jeez, well that's... Oh, he broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. Oh! As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of this school is indeed awful. But there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. <laughs> the power oh. power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as a puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actual, tangible curse upon this property. Okay, you're just adding that in for flavor, all right? I'm not even gonna, like, after all, reading all of that? <sighs> And the key to it all lies with the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and mutilations of the three children no older than she. Oh, the girl in the red dress, the one who got away. We've seen her!
My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. Why? I've <laughs> begun gathering data for a follow up report. So stay tuned. The next issue promises to uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. This is fascinating. It's awful. According to this article, one girl survived the murders. But if this photograph is correct, yeah. that is that same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Why would someone who wasn't killed here be haunting the school? I don't know, but that was that was that was that was amazing. Um, are my doors open now? Can I leave? I'm not reading that, right? That's the victim memoir. Uh, no, we're not reading that right now. I would like to save. Can I go? Ah, uh, dang, looks like I'm locked in. Ooh. Ooh. You again. To worry so much for another's well-being that it torments you to the core. It's an exquisite stigmata that afflicts the living and the dead alike. Hello. Ew. Uh, and you are? Ugh, her eyes are so cloudy. Like a dead fish. Hey, it's you again! I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. So, so. Okay. Really not sure how to respond to that. It's okay, Satoshi, me neither. Happiness and unhappiness are linked. Whenever one attempts to gain good fortune with little effort, there is always a risk. She's yapping. What are you trying to say? She's just a pro yapper. Oh, you and your friends have become trapped in this school because you performed the Sachiko Ever After charm. And messed it up. Sachiko-san. Who oh. messed it up? I bet it was Yuka. That little... Mm, I bet it was Yuka. Sachiko? You mean that paper doll thing we all did? How did we mess it up? It was so Yuka. Someone doesn't know how to count. One of you chanted the phrases too many times, or too few. The number of participants determines the number of repetitions that must be spoken. And somebody goofed. Oh, she's smiling. What a little witch. Oh, yippee. Everybody said it nine times? Who questioned themselves? Sachiko, so we beg of you. Nine times. Yeah, we know this. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Mmm, pretty sure it wasn't me. I remember saying it nine times. It was Yuka. So did someone else mess up? And is that why? No. Or Morishige could have messed it up just on purpose. I feel like one of the guys could have messed it up on purpose just to be a jerk. No. I'm not going to start placing blame. This wasn't anyone's fault. Oh, it was. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly, and just didn't even bother to count. Or 
Or maybe a misguided member of your group didn't want the fun to end and knowingly flubbed the charm in a vain attempt at prompting a do-over. I mean, that sounds like something that Seiko would do. <laughs> Even if it wasn't on purpose, some of your friends have a tendency not to take things very seriously, no? It's not un inconceivable that they'd mess up. And just say, oh well, it's not like I'll ever be found out. I wonder if she intentionally messed it up. <laughs> Without even realizing that their actions would ultimately dang you all. <laughs> oh, she, I think she's a little kooky. No one's owned up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends has said to you, I screwed up. I'm so very sorry. <laughs> Shut the heck up already. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's a little kooky. My apologies. I proposed far too many likely scenarios, it seems. Perhaps it's the nature of my job. I have long since abandoned my writings, after all. You do still have your scrap of paper doll, no? Oh. Be sure you hang on to that and hang on it tight. Treat it like a memento. Memento of those who are dear to you. <laughs> Satoshi is over her. Um, sorry to cut this short, but I'm in a bit of a hurry here. It seems to have gotten separated from my little sister. There are still some other people I need to find too. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action. It's truly a noble sentiment. Yeah, Satoshi's a really good guy. That's all charms really are, you know? They represent one's regards for other people. They're like microcosms of the soul. Whether it be love or hate, all you need is a truly strong emotion to set them off. The stronger it is, the more powerful the charm. Oh. Splend man's hook? What? What? Wait, 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 what are you saying? Frigid suey ball? Oh. Wait, why has she gone evil? Feels like my body's on fire. Stop this. Please stop. All suey frigid hook man splend? Huh? Oh. We will not allow anyone to stand in our way. Those who do will suffer without mercy. Now go. Go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Oh my gosh. Though you probably won't make it in time. Is this the end of chapter 3? You're really playing music like it is! Is it? It is! What? What? Ah! I didn't even freaking save! <laughs> Yippee! Coarse blood, bloody, coarse blood cover. Okay, alright. Yep, I'm just. I can't talk today, apparently. 
Um, did we get all the name tags? No, we're missing one. I think we're probably missing the one that was right around the corner. And then we have three endings to discover. Okay, so that'll be great. I guess I'm just gonna leave it here. I didn't even expect it to end like that. How odd. Okay. Oh, um, she got pissed off for no reason. I, I don't know. Um, that took two hours. So finding those endings, ooh, that might be a pain. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna do it. You know me. You know me. I'm going to do it. I'll be until it'll take forever. I'm going to do it. But I'm sick. I'm tired. I recorded for way too long. <laughs> Thank you guys for your support. I appreciate you dearly. Um, I'm sorry if this episode seemed off or anything. Um, I'm just sick and still like very not there, even cognitively. Um, but just thank you guys truly for your support. Thank you for supporting this long going series. And I appreciate you all. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>